growing up, I had a very black and white view of what success is and what failure was. As I've got older, I've kind of realised that it's more nuanced. If you stop trying at something and love, that would be a failure. But if you do the thing and you don't get the result you want, and you try again, then that's success for me. When I was younger, I think there were different points of my life where I felt odd or just out of place or I couldn't communicate well or I was misread. I was looking to try to be someone else. You're influenced by your parents, your friends, and within all that mess, you're just trying to figure out like what you believe. I think a lot of people succeed at being a best version of someone else rather than themselves. Got into running quite late in life. I didn't really fancy it at school. I wasn't really a member of a running club. It wasn't really a thing in my household. I wasn't really aware of it. I think because my parents were so focused on getting an education and kind of progressing that way, they kind of saw sports and everything else as a real distraction. Then I had a friend and he was like, you should do a 10K half marathon. I was like, why would anyone want to run like <laughs> that far, why? I signed up to it not really knowing what to expect. So for me, it was just about running by effort. But once I crossed the finish line, it's like a feeling that no one could take away from you. I think up to that point, I never really believed that I was good enough. I've always found it really difficult to communicate with people and really struggling in relationships. The irony of the name Anguish, really, I think, yeah, I felt like that for a long period of time, trying to escape from yourself not listen to yourself. So age 38, I found out that I was on the autistic spectrum. It's given me a lot of answers, but at the same time, it's, it's like stages of grief, isn't it? I knew something was wrong, now I accepted it. Then you go through a grief period because you're just like, it's like a loss of your identity. And then it's like, oh my gosh, is it like gonna be like a handicap for me? Like, oh, Marcus, the autistic guy. I had a quite a narrow view of what autism was. There's so much within that spectrum. Being autistic in my relationship to running has definitely changed. I think initially I was running to find something outside of myself. And as time has gone on, I've actually looked more inward. I think sometimes autistic people could find a single point of focus and just dive into it. And that's why for me, I've always sort of resonated with running in that sense. You get up, you set your kit up and you go and you come back, eat, prepare for tomorrow, go again. It's a really simple way of life and it really connects you to like who you are and being a part of nature is an incredible thing. I'm at a point now where I'm still learning and I have more answers than I had before. It doesn't actually have to define me. It doesn't have to become a label. It, it can become a superpower. But it can become something that can actually push you forward. Ronnie connects everyone, and that's the incredible thing. It's changed me in so many ways. It's given me a confidence, a strength, a resilience. 
lot of life lessons and context and calm and peace of mind really. 